Well, earlier I spoke to another acting legend, William Shatner, who was a close friend of Christopher Plummer from a very early age. Uh, he gave us some of his recollections. He was uh, a fabulous actor. He was from the very beginning. We were both born in Montreal. A few, I uh, shortly uh, after him, and uh, there was a stepping stone in uh, in those years uh, for Canadian theater and and film. And eventually, we uh, ended up in Toronto, the New York of of Canada, and and uh, and uh, the Stratford, uh, Ontario festival and. And then ultimately to uh, uh, a science fiction movie, and then the last thing I did that I uh, that I saw Chris was I was uh, directing a um, a documentary, and I went to Stratford here in 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 uh, in, in Canada uh, to interview him, and we spent a delightful afternoon remembering Stratford and the people we knew together and. We laughed and joked, and I had a wonderful, pleasurable time with an old friend. Our lives had intertwined since we were very young. And, we and Mr. Uh, Mr. Shatner, sorry to interrupt. Can I jump in? I want to ask about one particular moment where you did intertwine, where you were doing a play and you were the understudy, and he suddenly had to head to hospital and you had to step in. Do you remember that incident? Uh, vividly. Uh, Henry V? And uh, early on in the run, I was his understudy. We were doing repertory, and that meant putting a play in every uh, week. And we, uh, I had no rehearsal. So I went on in one of the longer speaking roles in uh, the English language without any rehearsal whatsoever. And he said uh, at the time, certainly he recalled afterwards that he didn't know, I think, what hurt more, the pain that he was in or knowing that you were stepping in uh, to be his understudy. He said you did everything exactly the opposite to the way that he did it and he knew you were going to be a what star. I, what I didn't tell him was I had no rehearsals. So I didn't <laughs> know what he did at any particular moment. I just did what I thought I had to do. <laughs> he clearly it, was, had an eye, it was quite a moment. He clearly but had an eye man, for talent because he, he clearly spotted your talent. But what was, what was so special about him when he was on stage or on screen? Well, he brought an elegance. He brought a truth. He brought... A, uh, uh, he was distinguished. In, he, he himself was elegant and, and, uh, and sophisticated. And he brought that kind of thing to the roles he played. Hmm. He, he was a, a wonderful man, a great character actor as well. I just, uh, while you were playing stuff about him, I was listening. I'd forgotten he was this wonderful pianist and a great tennis player, <laughs> all wrapped up in this handsome man who looked so elegant and spoke with a, a, an English accent, although he was born in Canada. I, I, uh, I admired him tremendously all my life. I, I kind of looked. I was his understudy, and I never quite got over being the understudy. A huge thanks to William Shatner there.